So you're editing an HTML file and you realize it has a ton of comments inside of it that you want to clean up. So maybe you've got like a template or something or some code from somebody else and they just have tons of comments in here. You can see along the right hand side anything that's green is comments. So we're talking about just tons and tons of code that's commented out. We don't need any of it. We want to get rid of it. And so in order to do that, uh, you have to go through here and just select everything you want to remove, delete it, could take a while. So we have tools that allow us to do this all really quickly in just a few simple steps. So inside of VS Code, as my code editor, I'm going to go Edit and Replace, or Control-H on uh, Windows machines. And then up here, there's a little dot with an asterisk. I'll go ahead and click that. That'll enable regular expressions. And so the regular expression is going to be the opening HTML comment, which is that less than exclamation hyphen hyphen. And then here we want to add a group uh, that will match either any token, excluding a uh, line break. So a period will just give us any token. And then we'll put a hyphen, or sorry, a pipe. And the pipe is just like an or operator. It just means uh, either match any token uh, except for a line break or backslash n will also give us line breaks. And then outside of the parentheses, we'll put an asterisk. That just means select uh, zero or more of the preceding token. So the issue here, as you can see, is it only selected one, right? It found the very first one at the top and then it selected everything that came after it, which is what we're telling it to do. So we got to finish it up here. We can do a, uh, basically we're just looking for the end of the comment, which is that hyphen hyphen greater than. Now you'll notice it's still only selecting one. So after the asterisk, we're going to put a question mark. And what that does is it tells it to match lazily. It just means find the least amount of characters possible before you match the close of the comment. And what that'll do is it'll only match the opening, the least amount of characters and the close, and then it'll go to the next one. So here we have 126 different matches. Um, we're going to, or maybe it's 40 different matches. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, if we click on replace all, just leave the replace input empty. We're just gonna replace it with an empty string. We go ahead and replace that, control alt enter, just click the icon here. Boom, all of our comments are gone. Great. The only issue here is that now we have some uh, areas where there's a lot of empty space, so that doesn't look too great. And so one way to get rid of that would be to go in here and say at the beginning of the line, so that's a, uh, whatever you want to call that exponent, um, the uptick or whatever, and then the we're matching the beginning of the line, we want to match a any white space, so backslash s, and then a zero or more of those, so the asterisk. And at this point, we're selecting all lines. So we want to say uh, we're just matching lines that have white space on them. So then we'll put a dollar sign. And now, as you can see, it's only matching these ones right here. So we're going to replace those with an empty string. And now you can see that all those lines that had tabs and, and, and returns and empty space, whatever, now they're all just uh, empty lines. So we can select one of them and do an Alt F3 on Windows. Uh, I'm not sure what it is on Mac, whatever the key is next to the space bar to the left of it, uh, and then F3. And then we'll just do, now you can see we have all these cursors on these lines that match these, uh, these white spaces. Then you can do a backspace and you've gotten rid of all those, okay? So now we have this code with no comments in it, everything, uh, there's no there's no empty lines or anything like that. It's cleaned up really nice and it took us all of like 30 seconds or less. So that's how you get rid of comments and unneeded white space in your HTML files really quickly using regular expressions and the uh, select all and backspace method. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you all in the next video.